Hi, this is Brad Smith from Beersmith.com. Beersmith 2 has a new add-on feature that makes it easy to download and install ingredients and recipe updates from the web. You simply click on the Add-ons button here. You do have to be connected to the internet to do this because uh, obviously it's downloading things from the internet. I click on the Add-ons where it would show a list of my add-ons installed. I don't have any installed yet. Next, I click on the Add button. Scroll down and find something that I want to download. For example, uh, dry stouts. I'm going to pick the Beersmith dry stouts add-ons, which has eight recipes in it. I'm going to install that add-on. It's now been installed. If I close this, you can see that it's added to my list of add-ons now. And if I close this window, you can see, indeed, that the Beersmith Archive dry stouts has been added. And I can open that folder and look at any of the recipes that I just downloaded. Now if I go back, next we're going to go back and we're going to add a set of grain add-ons. I, I mentioned you could do ingredients as well. So again, I'm going to click on the add-ons button. I'm going to click on add. I'm going to scroll down until I find one I want to install. I'm going to go with the Brie Smaltz. It's a very popular American maltster. There's 66 grains there. I click on install the add-on. It's now been installed. And in fact, you can see it's on my list here. It's being installed. And if I go over here and open the ingredients grain listing, uh, you will find that uh, interspersed in here are all of the Brees malts now. They've all been installed to my grain list, and in fact, I can use those in any recipe. So that's a quick overview of how to use the add-ons feature. You can obviously use the delete button in the add-ons dialog to delete any of those. Thank you for listening. If you want to learn more about home brewing, or download a free copy of Beersmith 2, please visit us at beersmith.com.